All right, hello and welcome to the Canvas Report. I am here with Jared Fawson to talk to you about a couple of changes that Canvas has made to make your life easier. The first change that we are going to look at is being able to reassign an assignment. So Jared, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this recent addition? Yeah, this is available in SpeedGrader when grading assignments. There should be a grayed out button that says reassign assignment. And the way you activate the button is by adding a comment. So you can type a comment or you can make a media recording. And once you click submit, you will have the option to select reassign assignment. So let's say a student submitted their assignment and didn't complete a portion of it. You'd make a comment about what they need to finish and then select reassign. Or maybe a student was unclear in their assignment about something and you could make a comment asking them to add some details and then select reassign. At that point, it would appear back in their to-do list. Nice, okay, so if you included a rubric on the assignment, then you would have some built-in feedback for your students. Yeah, exactly. It's really nice to refer to the rubric in your comments and remind and guide students to reaching mastery. That's awesome. Okay, so there's a, one more change we're gonna talk about that is nice for teachers and students. Now you can have students annotate on a PDF while in Canvas without using any external tools. Oh, nice. So how do you set this up? Well, you start in a very familiar place. You start building a new assignment. So you create a new assignment like normal. You title it like normal, give instructions, fill out all your points and assignment groups. But under the submission type, there is a new box now that you can check called student annotation. As you check that box, you then can either choose from a course file that you've already uploaded or find a file and it needs to be a PDF. And as you select it, it will then show up as attached to the assignment and you can go ahead and then save your assignment. Now for your students, I'm gonna to go to student view so you can see this. For your students as they start the assignment, any box that has been checked will be a tab they can select. So we need to go to our student annotation tab. Now we have our PDF, whether that is an article you would like them to highlight important text. We have a highlight tool here with multiple colors, or it could be a graphic where you want them to label different elements. In that case, we have a drop pin button or also a shape tool. You also can add text box to the PDF so students could type a comment there. Um, but it's a really interesting way to be able to uh, give students work to do in, in Canvas. And I just think there's a lot of exciting potential with this new feature. Yeah, that's a great addition to assignments. I can think of so many ways I would have used that with my geography students. Well, that's all we've got for today. We'll be back soon to keep you posted with more great Canvas updates.